What's up Bethel? In case you're not keeping track, by the time this video hits YouTube, we'll only have 27 days until we're back in classes. Which means you'll be back to enjoying your time at Bethel, instead of just working to pay for your time at Bethel, and back to waiting for friends to get engaged instead of going to weddings of engaged friends. <laughs> If 27 days seems like a traumatically short time, allow us to ease the pain away a bit with a sneak peek of what's been happening while you were away. Construction continues on our nursing wing expansion. It's coming along nicely inside and out. Also, third floor of the admin building is getting a facelift, and there's some irrigation piping being laid for a practice rugby pitch. And good news, they filled some of those nasty potholes and repaved part of the Logan Street entrance. Bad news, they put the speed bump back in. Hmm. We caution you not to believe every Bethel room you hear, but if you heard there are two sand volleyball courts on campus, you've heard correctly. Double the nets, double the beach, double the flirts. There are some exciting people changes happening too. We've hired two, count them two, RDs. Courtney Chapman is a Bethel grad who has been working down in the Dominican Republic. She'll be the new fearless leader of the Founders Women Apartments. And Leah Evans, also a Buffalo grad, has returned from U of M in Flint to take over as RD in Bridges Hall and will also serve as our new campus activities director. And THE John Carr has scooted over from Logan Village to EB South to oversee Founders Men Apartments and Intentional Living Communities. But more importantly, John Carr's grill has moved with him and now it just sits 64 steps from the volleyball courts. So. Beach volleyball plus spitting mad game makes for some hungry college students. Your move, John. We're running out of time, but we want to give a quick round of congratulations to some of our athletes. Our track team has had their best ever finish at NAIA Outdoor Championships back in May. And proving that our athletes are more than just athletes, we had 28 students receive scholar athlete status. We don't have time to congratulate all of them individually, but here are some pictures of them. Assuming that was too quick, feel free to rewind and pause as you please. We'd be remiss if we didn't also mention that this summer brought with it wind and storms and claimed the lives of four more beloved oak trees and a box truck. So, a quick tribute to our fallen. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Justin and his new co-host are back behind the Bethical News Desk in just four weeks. Bye. Bye. Bye.